Okay, here we go, part seven. This one we're going to be making his tail. And this one shouldn't be too long of a video because it doesn't take much to do his tail. So this is what we got so far. Rawr, rawr, rawr. And then I'm going to show you what I do for his legs. Smush his belly a little bit. Okay. So, tail. We're going to need those little spikes we made. got five so I need to make one more I need to add one to this and we need teal for this because he's so far he's more teal than purple can't get back in there okay that one doesn't want to stay shut where'd it go teal I just looking for? Oh, one orange. Oh, poop. I need one more orange and it's all the way downstairs. Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and start. <sighs> okay. I think we did two. Okay, so teal. paper set up so I can read it. And we're going to need our tail fan, obviously. Whew. Okay. That one's going to go on last. So, we're going to start here, and we're going to go down, and we're going to go up, and then we're going to go down, and then we're going to go up. So, Two bands each. <sighs> hmm. I'm going to add one more over here. But that's going to be... Oh, no, no, no. That's fine. It's good the way it is. So three... Four... And then we're going to go this way. We do this zigzag so we can make the tail longer without having to constantly pull it off the loom. And then we're going to go down this way. Okay, and then we're going to do three at a time, three, 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 oh, we got just enough, and three, and we're going to put his little butt right here. <laughs> So this is going to be a little hard to work with because he's going to be sitting right off the side. So now we have to grab all these bands. So there's two purples and then there's four purple. Man, two. Just try to get as close to that tie off band as you can. And then you gotta see if you got them all. I think I did. If you can see your whole tie off band, you probably got it. This is a lot of bands, so I think I'm gonna do it a little bit at a time. Here's where we see if we got them all. Oh, fireworks are already starting. People with firecrackers. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Did we get them all? We did. Okay. So, I'm going to put like two and two and two with that many and it's not stretchy enough. Two. It's just easier to do them a little bit at a time. And two. There we go. So they're all on there. And then this one was on this peg. So we're going to skip this one and put a spike here. So we got room one. And remember, these are three green. Oh, I got a purple one in there. put a spike so I'm gonna go ahead and load all my spikes up here this last one that's on my hook here I'm gonna have to add a band and then we're gonna have to make one more spike and it looks like no that guy and there's those two oh you want to go down go ahead come on little dog no Okay, you're gonna stay up there then. Go on. What? She wants down off the bed, but she doesn't want to get down off the bed. Explain that to me. There. Okay, then we're gonna do pull two and put a spike here. I remember these first ones are three bands. That way it's a little wider towards his butt. Okay, then we're going to put a spike here. I feel like I should have... There's another one. And three rings. And then when we get to this one, we start the twos. And we're gonna put a spike here. There's gonna be a spike here, spike here, spike here, spike here. And then this tail fan's gonna be on these four. What's that? Huh. Another spike. They're just coming out of everywhere. Oh, missed one. There we go. Okay. One more. here and we're gonna pull this one this way and then we're gonna grab this one and pull it this way and add another, another spike but I have to go grab my orange bands so I'll be right back Dismissed. I went all the way downstairs to look for the bands I just bought, and they were sitting right next to me. <laughs> so I need a lot, just a little pinch. A little pinch of orange. Because I have to add one doubled band to this guy. So he's got three, and then I have to make one more. So one, two, three. Double band. Double band. And one more double band. Must have used one more than I did on my other one. So, now I can put a spike here and a spike here. 
Oh, this bike here. And then we're gonna pull two. One. And two. And our last little spike goes right here. And we are gonna pull one this way. And then we're gonna pull one this way. Now, these four pegs here are going to hold our tail fan because there's four ends. Uh, which way do I want this? This way? Sure. So, when we get done, we want this to stand up like this. So we're going to do one, one way. Uh, we're going to do the first one. This way. Oh, I missed one. Then we're going to pull one. Then we're going to go from, we're going to go ahead and pull that up a little bit. Then we're going to pull from this side. To add it to that one that we just loomed. And we're going to loom one more. And then we're going to loom this one from this way. Whoop, tie off bands, grabbing. Okay. Then we're going to loom this last one. And we're going to pull this one on this way. Yeah, I should have had another one on there. So we're going to grab two blue and tie this off with that. We're going to stick our hook through. See, his little body is in the way. Let go. Push that down as much as you can. And then my hook is in the way. Okay, so we're gonna stick our hook down through all of these. And we're gonna loom this guy and put him on the hook. And now we can pull this off. He's almost done. Now we're going to take a teal one and double loop it and tie off those ends with that. Make sure you get it through there. So we're going to put them on and then we're going to make a slip knot and pull it tight and break it. Which is fine. Um, stick your hook back through the big ones. I'm gonna have to take that one. That one was already stretched out, that's why I did that. Go ahead and pull that one off that I just broke. Maybe. I pulled it tight, that's for sure. There we go. Now we should be able to get our hook in there. Come on, get off, dang it. There. Okay, try that again. Double teal. You've got your hook through those last two that we just added. And we're going to pull those on there. And then we're going to make a slip knot with that. And pull tight, but not so tight that you break your little bands. That way it's got just a little loop on the end. And there we go. He's all done. And see the way we added that tail fan, now it'll stand up. Like his little spikes will when you 
play with them. Okay, there we go. There's our little hobble grunt and this little tail fan. Now what I'm going to do real quick is just show you how I make his legs stay together. And I did the same thing with my skull crusher. You need four white bands. What you're going to do is this is where, whoops, this loop is where it's attached to the body. So I'm going to go one loop up, going to go through all four of them. I'm going to grab a white one with my hook, pull it through, and make a slip knot. And pull it tight. Do the same thing. This is the one that's attached to the body, so we want to go through all of these guys. Grab a white one, and make a slip knot. And this is just going to make it so it'll pull his little arms together. So I'm going to go through these body bands, all four of them, and pull one of these loops through that. And we're just going to tie it up. Just a regular little square knot. Doesn't have to be anything special. So you got a little loop. And we're going to go back through here and pull that loop through to kind of tuck it in. You can pull these guys through. And that'll kind of hold his little arms together. Maybe I should have gone up one more. Oh well. And then the legs, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go... This is where his little knee bends are. So I'm going to go one under that. So the knee bends at the teal. So I'm going to go on the purple one, through it, grab a white band, and slip knot it. Whoop, you don't want to grab anything else. There we go. Same thing. The, the teal is where the knee bend is, so I'm going to go through purple underneath it. And slip knot it. Going to go through his belly to pull one of the loops through. I'm going to tie a knot. He's not going to sit this pretty. That's the other one. If you kind of squish his belly around, you can get his arms to do what you want, and his little legs. <sighs> now the same ones you went through, pull one of those loops, so he doesn't have like a big bow there. And then there we go. Now what I do to make him stand up is I would connect this back spike to like this back spike with a C-clip. Just C-clip these little end cap bands. Maybe I did this one. And that'll, if you wire his neck, it'll hold him up. I'm not going to wire his neck because he's not really going to go on my shelf or anything. But there you go. There's your little humble grunt. Oh, you can take these tie-off bands off now, obviously. So there he is. He's got his legs, he's got his wings, he's got his little head crest, his funny little face, and his tail fan and his crest are pretty much the only thing that really make him so you can see that he's the hobble grunt. But there you go. I hope you guys are happy with him and I hope you actually make him. And if you do, put your picture on my Facebook page. I'll put a, a link to it in the comment section. Or description so hope you guys like him so there we go 
We've got little twins that are almost identical, except he's got green and he's got purple. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned. I'm going to be making um, a video for a 3D TARDIS from Doctor Who, because I love Doctor Who. And I've already made a Dalek, which is on my channel. And I made a, a Weeping Angel, which I think is on Isalicious Designs channel. So look up Weeping Angel and you can make a Weeping Angel and if you want to do my Dalek, you can do a Dalek and have a TARDIS. So there we go. Thanks for watching.